Welcome to Yield Max TV Straight to the Point. Roundhill has announced individual stock covered call ETFs that pay weekly. AMZ will now have AMZW. Now look, usually when they put these in, it takes at least 75 days for them to go through the SEC review process, blah, blah, blah. And then what happens is they decide when to launch them. So, Yield Max was the first. And what I've said to you is I haven't been all that satisfied. Okay? And you know me. I was the one that went all in on AMZ. Okay? Four times leverage. I am the risk taker. I am the strategist. All these funds have one thing that makes a huge difference actually two things the first is different managers we all know there has been okay um erosion of nav but a lot of it has to do i've been watching dividends everything since i've been in this march 1st and all i'm about is money i don't add to this i don't dollar cost average i don't reinvest Okay, with almost no money out of pocket, I'm controlling a half million dollars worth of stock. Okay, and it, well, what happened was I added 100000 of my own money because I wanted to speed this up. I love these funds. They are the new paradigm. Okay, these are the yield max funds of income investing. Gone are the days of Warren Buffett and dollar cost averaging and having 20 years. Okay, we don't want that. That will never buy you Lambos. That will never buy you the things you want or pay for your house or buy you a yacht or let you enjoy your life. Because I'll tell you, I've been rich and I've been poor and it's a lot easier to deal with anything when you can throw money at the problem. When you don't have to worry about money, life is different. When And I know what it's like to have to worry. Okay, And let me tell you, it's not a nice feeling to lay up in bed at night staring at the ceiling wondering what you're going to do. So if you haven't saved enough for retirement or your job sucks or you want to just make more, you want more, you want the things that your friends and your family and people you see on social media don't even have. And so I created Yield Max TV. It's one of the most talked about, okay, copied, emulated channels that I've seen because I am about strategies and not spreadsheets. Last week, we did the Direction $100,000 one week challenge, okay? And well, that challenge is going very good, okay? I'm up 9% already. The challenge ends before they have earnings or else I would never go long into NVIDIA earnings. And then I will take all of this profit on my $100,000 and I will shovel it back into, most likely, AMZ to bring me up to 20,000 um, up to twenty thousand shares again. I like that number because every dollar is worth $20,000. Now, the rest of the money is going, once I sell in the NVDU and dump it right before earnings, maybe the day of, maybe Monday. We don't know, but so far, so good. On 100K, that would be up about eight grand, right? But anyway, that doesn't matter. What matters is push button money. Let's get down to it. So, Apple, I'm not interested. I don't care, even if your mom offered me an Apple. I don't care. Look, I don't care if Stacy and March came to my house with apples. I don't want them. In case you're new to the channel, you're a new subscriber, this is Miss Roundhill. She's been putting out every week. Why do you want to get paid every week? Some of you like to reinvest. Okay, the power of compounding. Why do you think when you hold a CD from the bank, they don't pay you until the end of maturity? Because they don't want you compounding. They want to compound. They're smarter than you. Miss Roundhill bangs us every week. Okay, we have Hamburger. The investor architect who does deep dives better than asshead into Roundhill. I did that in my last video. I gave a link to Income Architect. He's a spreadsheet freak. We call him Hamburger. And well, 
He's in QDTE and XDTE. But let me tell you, she's got friends. You think she don't have friends? Welcome to the world of diversification of fund managers. We're going to diversify out of yield max because to me, honestly, me and Jay really don't have any kind of feelings. To me, he's a Muppet. Okay, like the Muppets. You don't know who the Muppets are? I was going to do something funny, but you don't let me because, you know, you're all in a retarded hurry. So, okay, AMD. I don't want that one. Amazon, I would definitely be interested in this. Their strategy of trading, their strikes, everything is completely different than fuck max. I mean, yield max. Okay? Completely different. They're going to have a coin base. Okay? Now, Roundhill's cousin, she's heavily involved in crypto. See? Game over, bitches. She's heavily involved in crypto, so they're going to give you, okay, your little coiny. Coin wa. It's Asian. Koi wa. See? Smell my finger. Koi wa. This is coming out. That's going to be the Coinbase competitor. Google L. Glow. Glow. Like the star you are. Glow. Like your sister. Glow. Round hill glow. That's so nice. I'm touched. Isn't it better than gooey? What would you rather have stuck on your finger? Something that glows or something gooey? What would you rather have stuck on your penis? Would you like to be having it glow or have it gooey? I'll go with glow anytime. Look at my balls glow, baby. They glow in the dark. Anyway, Meta. Meta. Met. I don't know. Medwa. I guess maybe they have to hire Chinese guys. I don't know. Man, wow. I don't know what the W is, but I'll never know. You know why? Nobody will interview with me. This is a non-interview channel. I don't need the subscribers to watch an interview of somebody jerking me off. Okay? The, the only way I will do an interview is if they have to give me a thousand shares. We make it public. And then I make a stream of videos. Okay? On that thousand shares they gave me and if they make money or not. I mean, what better way to consumer reports test something than give it to me to test it, okay? And then it's mine. I'll pay taxes on it and everything. And I'll even take the loss if I have to. Anyway, we have Microsoft. Bro, if you have Microsoft and penis combined, you need to see a doctor immediately. Anyway, for those who love to worship Michael Saylor and do not know the truth about Michael Saylor, okay? We have Mr. MSTW. What's the W for? Wanker. For those of you in England, in the UK, you like to wank off. There you go. That's what the W is for, okay? We, so we have the micro strategy. I told you that she has an AI cousin that's into crypto, bitches. Okay, so you're going to get that. When is all of this going to come? We could hold our breath until our balls turn blue. And then one day we'll get an email and these will show up. So being the first to tell you about them, why do I need this kind of pressure? Okay, I had this fucking guy in my comments. Oh, do you know? Like, I don't know. I know everything. I know I'm going to dump in video on their head because they're going to disappoint you. Oh, they're going to disappoint so many people. But this time for me, not for you. You're too late. Don't follow me in this strategy. I hate when Robin Hood forces me to go to dark mode because it's 6 a.m. All right? Saturday morning, wake up, everyone. You're probably watching Asshead with his $20 put strategy. You know, I did a $20 put. Uh, I'll show it to you. You know, I'll show it to you right now, and then we'll get to the rest. Stay for Tesla. The TSW, okay? The NSB, the TSW, the TWA. This one is going to be good. We're going to talk about it in a minute. This guy that I can't stand. It's just his douchey way. It's just him. It's the way he's sniffling and snorting all the time, okay? I, he went from a broke investor to a wealthy investor. You're no wealthy investor, you fucking liar. Oh, my God. Did you write that? No. Where is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 that's fraud. You are not a wealthy in 
investor. You are a douche. I didn't even see this. How did I notice? You're not a wealthy investor. You're a douchebag. Okay? You're an asshead. Okay? God gave you an ass on your head because you're an asshead. Okay? Look at that. Do you see the gluteus maximus? It's not a yield maximus. Look, right here. A dwarf could have sex with that. Okay? Balls in the eyes. Figure it out. Okay? That's how you get eye syphilis. And here is a clear shot of the gluteus maximus in full exposure. You are not a wealthy investor. You say it yourself. You're a dick. Driving to work. Just a schlub. How could you even put that there? You see, that is not true. Alert, alert, alert. Wealthy, my balls. Oh, that just set me off. I got the head triggered. This all... Oh, he, so he sells like puts and makes like $20, right? And then he has the balls to annualize that and be like, let's say 152%. No, that's $20, dummy. So I wanted $20 too. So you know what I did? Something as dumb as he would do. I put up $6,000 to buy Ulti. <clears throat> I, I tried. I really, really tried. Right? I bought it there. And you know what I did? Okay? I annualized it and I did all kinds of stuff. And then when we pumped, I sold it. And look at this. I made $38. Annualized at $674 million. Okay, over 1,000 years at a uh, multiple of 848%. You dick. That's all I have to say. I, I, you know, you ruined the whole, you and your put party, put it up your ass crack on your forehead. For everybody that stayed till the end, the word is ass head. If you were stayed to the end, type in the comments ass head. See if you understand. Oh. Oh, let me calm down now. The NVIDIA, I have no interest. Okay, what, what, you think that I like NVIDIA because I'm doing this? I am a trader. I act as a hedge fund, okay? I bought this to ride the stupidity of the emotions. I bought it last Monday. It's a one-week play. Earnings are on Wednesday. Oh, and Kramer and everybody's going to be talking about NVDU. Can you believe he said he became a wealthy investor, that cocksucker? Can you believe that? I'm going to go out with the intro now. Anyway, so, yeah, I put $100,000. I already took $3,000 off the top. It was $103,000. I took the $3,000. I sold it. Okay? Now, and that's just a little security for me. That's actually my administrative fee. Yeah, I'm like Jay. All right? I get a percentage of my own action. Anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to dump this on their heads because I don't know if NVIDIA is going to beat or uh, not beat. Nobody knows, but I do know one thing. There are enough stupid people in the world that will FOMO into this at the last minute. Okay, and let me tell you something. It hurts a lot more to miss earnings and lose than it does to nail earnings. Now, some of you may be buying whole dicks. Okay, and we laugh at you. I operate like like Wall Street. We laugh at you. Some of you may be buying whole dicks, and you're like, "I'm gonna hold for long term." Well, you know, I'm gonna take that ten thousand dollars and buy some more fucking round hill shit. Back to our story. Tesla, they're gonna come up with TSW. Okay, now let's talk about it. TSW. Yeah, I'm saying Nvidia is gonna disappoint. In case you wanted to know. Tell me in the comments if you think I'm wrong. Go ahead, tell me. They, they're incredible. Amazing. Anybody buying NVIDIA now, I think is in for a world of hurt. Okay? Um, watching some YouTubers. Okay? Dollar cost average their way in because they believe the story. All of Wall Street is a story. With no story to tell, there is no stock to sell. One more time, everybody repeat after me. With no story to tell... There is no stock to sell. This is why Jay don't like me. This is why they don't like me. This is why they won't interview me. I don't want their fucking interviews. I'm not looking for views. This is not monetized. This is me giving back to the world because I got balls of titanium and I seen it all. Anyway, 
I always said, you know, Tesla is a very volatile stock. It's the most retail traded stock there is. Jay at Yieldmax with Tesla wrote their prospectus, all of their prospectuses a long time ago. Yeah, now other companies like Roundhill have been able to look at the situation, say, ah, we're not bound by their prospectus. Let's write a prospectus that's better, that gives us more freedom, more flexibility. And I knew the competition would come. So anyway, Tesla, their prospectus is written terrible. You get killed when it goes down. He pumps it up, you get capped. It sucks. These guys may do Tesla right. All of you Tesla people, who believe in the dream of growing back hair from a bald head and the robotics may be able to finally make consistent real money without nav erosion, testicular depletion, okay, um, atrophy, okay. And that's it. And I love that name, Glow. I would love my balls to glow instead of being gooey. Not that my balls are gooey. Amzw, Amzwa, and maybe it's French. Amzwa, Amzwa, welcome, Amzwa. If you like the content, I tell you, I suck. I have no life. You know what I get off on? Reading your reactions to my videos in the comments. Yeah, and I have fucking Lamborghinis and fucking money and everything. Oh, let's go out with a shout out to, um. Just, I want nobody to forget what a dick this guy is. What a fake phony he is. Created a YouTube channel. Share my journey from a broke investor to a wealthy investor. Well, let's see how wealthy he is. Right? Remember this? Remember? Income source. Right? I could take another loan out for another car and just have that account pay it. Not ideal. I'm not really into, you know, this is... We did this, right? The car essentially was you know too much to fix but um it is what it is so anyway that's 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 what we're doing it's going to take a while to get there everyone um, subscribe because, like and comment her company thinks she's the works there and we have to get the separation they got that. problems Him either way wife. i just wanted to update you guys on what i'm doing and i'll share that <clears throat> i will share that because obviously that does make for some interesting content and a lot of people are going to say oh my god this is the dumbest person ever right because yeah. from the average eye, yes, this looks crazy, but at the same time, you know, if you do it carefully enough um, and you choose the right fund, this this really could work out. It could be a pretty good strategy versus just taking, you know, whatever it is, 17K and just paying it off, right? You know, the idea is if I use their 17K and I take that and I make, you know, 50% uh, return and I give them their 8%, and I can pay the payments as I go, why not, right? Obviously, if the market tanks beyond belief, yeah, I'm, I'm screwed, right? Essentially. You so again, this whole thing was him taking out money to buy a car for his from his 401k. Why would he have to do it's that? It's just another, you know, essentially weapon. And then when this is done, when the car is paid off, when all these dividends pay off the this car, guess what? We now have whatever money is left and that He's is talking to his wife to about not do whatever thing. with right this could just be another all right so these are the round hill funds that are coming out okay i just wanted you all to know i'm very excited okay that we don't have to have muppet shit only and we can try some new things and that these are not i i look i'm in round hill because of the payment because of the nav the return things like that right but I'm not in it for diversification. I like to have, I mean, for me, my perfect portfolio for me right now would consist of three things, okay? QDT and XTTE give me that weekly pay. They give me, they hold, and each holds a nav differently, pays differently. They're a little different. And then one hitter, one hitter that I really believe in, that um, that's a solid company that's not an AI fad, or trend, okay, that's not made up by some crap. So, one hitter. So, if you have one hitter, this is my, my 
temporary thing. Ignore that. So I like two steadies, one hitter that pays once a month, and then what's going to happen is everything pays for itself. Everything pays for itself, and all of this is free, and it becomes a perpetual money machine. This is 20 minutes of my time at 6 a.m. Now, soon the schmuck is going to be launching a video about his $20 puts, okay? I want you to all go to his comments and tell him to put his put up his ass, all right? Why don't I like him? I just don't like him. He's fake. I have a notch or uh, uh, an ability, a notch in my brain that allows me to kind of judge people. Can you believe that? Yeah. And I can judge who sucks, who's full of shit, and who's not. So retire on dividends is full of it, okay? Um, the Pumpkin did an interview with this guy from Granite Shares. Based on this alien fund manager, lizard person, whatever he was, okay, reptilian, I'll never touch. You will never see me going to anything granite shares that includes all the yield boost funds i just don't like the guy can you understand that because camille coming her huh? however you pronounce his name doesn't understand that we're not allowed to say that we don't like certain people all right and so he banned me i don't really care because he's a flea on the ass of the world and he's insignificant to me as a matter of fact i need some morning motivation i will share it all with you this is my commuter car Happy 401k, gone, bitches. I never know where friends bounce to. I guess it's their loss, but they'll never know what we'll mount to.